<clears throat> Hi, Jason. Got your plan open. I'm sure you recognize it. <clears throat> Looks pretty straightforward to me. This roof plane here is going to be extended up to here, and then another cricket roof plane is going to form a peak with it and end over here by the corner of the house. Because you don't want to have a dead valley here next to the uh, second floor. So that's what I'm going <clears> to, <throat> that's what I intend to do. So I'm going to click on, no, that's not it. That's the one. I guess I should turn on the reference display. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, I just intend to uh, rough it in. Now I'm going to use the break line tool. I need to look at that overview again. Okay, there's I'm trying to figure out what that red line is. <clears throat> I guess this wall's out of alignment. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Well, it's lined up with this wall, but it's not lined up with the wall structurally below. That's something for you to consider. Okay, I'm use the break line tool. And I'm going to break it on the outside of the second floor wall. And come up there and give it just general geometry. And then we'll, we'll draw another manual roof plane over here and create a ridge with this one. <coughs> yeah. And then this will stretch out over here. Something like that. It's a large cricket because this is really, ooh, that's nasty. And on top the ridge? No, I guess not. <clears throat> okay. Now, pursuant to this, let's see. I guess it's this one. Yeah. And drag this out of there. Okay, now I'm going to go to the, let's see what the uh, pitch is. Four, okay. And make sure that the, this is set, set to four. But no, it isn't. Okay, I'm going to set it to four. <coughs> Excuse me. As, when I draw a manual roof plane, it will be at 412. And I'll select this tool here. And I'm going to draw it, the baseline of it right on the edge of where that wall ends, and then have it slant upwards. And move it over, and it, it'll be trying isosceles triangle shaped. I just know from experience. I never use this dialogue ever, other than don't show me it again and cancel. <clears throat> now, I can't have it intruding into the wall above, so I'm going to move that over, line it up with that one. <clears throat> I'll go back to the overview camera just so you can see how this is developing. You see, it came in way too high. All right, I'm going to do an elevation camera. Backflip, so I'm just looking at this, just this area. Okay, so I, I want to move, well, I guess I better, oh, let me just, no, I can't do that yet. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to measure from where this ridge is. Come on, computer, there you go. I think that's about the neighborhood where I want it, and that's uh, 11 foot 8 and 5 8. So we'll click on that. Whoops, there we go. Got it. 
and we'll use transform replicate and we'll move it minus <clears throat> 11 foot 8 and 5 8 Oh, that's not a foot, that's a comma. Yeah, it's more like it. <clears throat> we'll see what that looks like after it moves. <clears throat> it's better, but I can't really tell exactly what's going to work until I start using, ooh, that's not going to work. Oh, that's going around the corner. Okay, I'll leave it there then. <clears throat> We'll just join this to that and, and just evaluate if I need to further move the uh, manual roof plane. See, this needs to terminate over here. So in order to, uh, <coughs> let's see, what's the ridge height here? Let's see, 230 and 5 sixteenths. I guess this is going to be 230, yeah, 230 and 5 sixteenths. What's the ridge on this one? Close. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and join these two. Yeah. I guess it looks like to me we don't really need this out over there, so I'm going to go. <clears throat> that should work. I'm going to check it in plan view. <clears throat> it's looking pretty good. Okay, now this is useless. It served its purpose. I need plan view, yeah. There's that one I just drew. Here's the one it's made it, whoops. The one it's made it to. <clears throat> See, I really need it down here. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is uh, lock the ridge of this roof plane, open it up, <clears throat> put the radio button to lock the ridge height, because I've got that about where I want it. Any higher, <clears throat> and it'll top this ridge, and I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is now change the pitch to uh, 3.5, 12. And it'll hinge from the ridge. Now that that change is made, I'm going to join roofs. You see, I moved it further down roof. I'm going to go back to the overview. It's not perfect. <clears throat> see, it's chopping in there a little, a little bit at the corner. I thought I took that jog out. I guess I didn't. There it is. Okay, there's the jog. Let me get rid of that and re reconnect. And then reevaluate. Re <clears throat> See, ideally, I need it down here. <clears throat> At least I think I do. Now we're going to have to go around that corner. I'm going to put a break there and put a 90 degree turn in it. We're almost there. Okay, that cleaned up. <clears throat> Not perfect. And that's just an antiqual. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> Whenever you're not sure, just open the dialog box, take a look. It's included in schedule, but it's not an antiqual. It's not auto generated. So it's something that you drew. I don't know that it has any real purpose, but I'm just going to manually get it out of the picture by drawing it. 
dragging it down into the below the roof. So I can move that over just a little closer. <clears throat> I could tweak it around and get it perfectly on this corner, which is what your guys in, in the field will do. Um, okay, I'll just do it. Okay, we're gonna again lock the ridge because I got that where I want it. <clears throat> and uh, instead of three and a half, I'll make it three and a quarter. But I don't need very much change in geometry or angle for this to work. But the computer, yeah, there we go. And then we'll try the join ropes. We may get an error message because of that break I put in here. Yeah, didn't didn't take. <coughs> Let's see, I need, uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> I, <don't know. clears throat> I need refresh screen. On my laptop, it's hard to see which one is the F5 key, so that's the reason I'm doing this. There it is. See, I, I thought maybe, okay, that was a little bit too much. See, it's going past the corner. So now I'm gonna, <clears throat> again, lock the ridge because I don't need that to change. And we'll make this three, no, five sixteenths. We're getting very close to the right value. Let that comply, get complied, and then tie it back in. Okay, that's that was too much. But you, <clears throat> I need to hit F five again. It's just a quirk of this laptop that I'm using that uh, when I after a while, like in camera view, I can't select any. Well, it's right there where I need it. Let's make sure it's tied in. Well, it doesn't take very long to do either. For it to lose its ability to. Let's see, I want to get that one. I guess I'm going to take this jog out because I think I, it's arrived at the, exactly the right place. The manual uh, roof saddle that I created. Now we'll see if it'll join up. Okay, that's that. Now let's inspect the other side. Okay, that looks good. Oh, there's one little glitch right there. What is that? Let's see if I can find that in. Uh, Oh, there it is. I see it. See this little, this shouldn't be a triangle. It should follow this angle. So we'll use the break line two tool and do exactly that. Okay, we'll go back to the camera view that artifacts should be gone now and, and it is okay so this is my advice on, on doing this <clears throat> it's just called a manual roof cricket and you just have to figure it out there's no easy way to do it other than just trial and error until you get an acceptable product okay hope this helps you jason i'll send you uh, a link to the video after i've uh, I hope you're using X11. You didn't mention what you're using. I'm off doing this in X11. So if you don't have X11, you're going to have to do this yourself. Okay. Anyway, thank you.